what we talked about uh, last year that balled out in our Corky Kell Dave Hunter Classic, man. Um, he's a special, special talent as well. Uh, a couple underrated players on this list, Judson Wells. He's caught my eye recently. Tyler Rogers is another one um, that can really, really play at a high level. And Reed Giles. So it's, it's some really good names on this list, man. But if I had to say make Naj had to make a pick, I would go with Amari Latimer of Sandy Creek. I just think they put a lot on him. Um, this year, maybe it'll be a little bit different since obviously Dalen Pitts is moving more to that playmaker athlete role for them. But I think clear cut, talk about top running back that can get it done, play downhill, has speed, has burst, has versatility, can catch out of the backfield, um, can tote 20 to 25 plus carries per game, uh, plays both sides of the ball. Um, kind of reminds me, not the same player, Craig, but does the same things they asked him to do. And that was Jamie Brown. I mean, He's the you know middle linebacker guy for them. He's taking constant contact and and, 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 and bruising, but still comes out and gives his all, man. So, um, not saying they're the same player because they're not, but it reminds me of that same kind of role. So that would be for me my top running back in 2026 class, and then I would throw in there Joe Nas Walton would be another one. I would put at number two. I put Kamari at three. That would be my top three if I was doing a running back list uh, of class of 2026, and then Givers at four. No disrespect to Givers, I like Givers. But I think Kamari is right up there um, 